Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. Protecting your privacy by making businesses take better care of your data. That's at the heart of a multi-million dollar legal settlement and proposed legislation in Montpelier. Channel 3's Cam Smith joining us now live to tell us about both of these developments. Cam, what do you know? Kat and Darren, Attorney General Charity Clark announced a nationwide settlement in a relatively small data breach lawsuit that will see Vermont receive $3 million. But with hundreds of data breaches impacting Vermonters every year, Clark wants to limit what businesses can know about you. In 2020, BlackBot, a computer software company, was at the center of a ransomware attack, where information such as social security numbers, healthcare information, and other sensitive data was stolen. BlackBot provides software to organizations like charities, schools, and hospitals. Our investigation determined that this breach occurred because BlackBot did not have sufficient data security practices in place leaving open known gaps in their system that was targeted by the hacker. Attorney General Charity Clark says the company also violated data breach notification laws by delaying or not informing consumers who were victims of the breach. It is much cheaper to implement good data practices than it is to do the cleanup with the mistakes at, after the fact. Data from the Attorney General's office shows in 2021 there were 801 data breaches reported, with 128,000 Vermonters impacted. Last year there were 685 breaches, impacting more than 150,000 Vermonters. So far this year there have been 465 reported breaches. Clark is calling on the legislature to strengthen privacy protection by limiting the amount of data companies can collect and keep. Representative Michael Marcotte is sponsoring a bill to do that, but has met some resistance from the business community. How tough um, is the law and how will businesses be able to um, comply with the law? I think that's where some of the, the problems um, will arise. Representative Marcotte says data and language in the bill is dated, and it's likely his committee will need to start from scratch in the coming session. He hopes to use what other states like California and Connecticut have implemented as a guide. In the studio, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.